Now looking southbound on Beale Street, you'll see more amazing tall buildings. Again, those of you into architecture, you're really going to love these extraordinary tall buildings. And again, if you come to each block on the corner of Market Street, look to your left and then look to your right. And you'll see these uh, amazing tall architectural design buildings. Most of these, if not all of them, are commercial oriented buildings. Now here's yet another entrance to the Embarcadero Barge Station. As you can see, it runs about a couple blocks long, and you'll find the other bar stations as well. They'll have more than one entrance and exit to them. Now, this side of the uh, Embarcadero Bart Station is closed, but right across the street, uh, that entrance and exit is open. Now, this Embarcadero Bart Station is located, it's going to be at 351 uh, Market Street. Uh, correction, this Embarcadero Bar Station is located at 333 Market Street. Now, notice the address of this particular building, 333 Market Street. Now, this is an example of how you're going to be able to easily find your location point in the event that you're looking for a specific uh, business or attraction or you're trying to give directions to your ride-sharing car service driver like Uber or Lyft. You look for any business from which you're located at and look for the street address. This is going to let you know where you're located. And you see the odd number, 333, that means you're on the odd side of the business, of the street. Which means that the opposite side of the street is going to be the even number street. So as I emphasized earlier, there are several options to gain access to cash. Uh, here's a, if you have a Cabo Wells Fargo or you just need an ATM machine, you, this Wells Fargo Bank is at 333 Market Street. Now approaching the 400 block of Market Street. So the cross street going north of Market is going to be Front Street. Now the cross street south of Market is going to be Fremont Street at the 400 block of Market. Another amazing view of one of the tall buildings on uh, at 400 Market Street. Now you see the top portion of that building right there. Uh, that used to be the the Equinox restaurant that I mentioned to you earlier that was inside the Hyatt Regency, and that's where on that uh, that top portion. Of the high Regency is where that revolving restaurant would be. But I said, oh, they don't use it anymore. This is not open for that restaurant. I'm not certain if they still use that restaurant dining at all, but it's not open for the public at least. Here's one of AT&T's offices located at 425 Market Street. So if you have cellular service with AT&T, here's where one of their offices is located one of several bike racks at 425 Market Street. So if you happen to be cycling along Market Street, here's a good place to park your bike. Now at 455 Market Street, you've got several businesses that are inside this building. For instance, there's a Starbucks coffee, there's a bakery shop called Forcadia, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And there's several others here I'm gonna show you in a minute, but this is one of the reasons why I emphasize the numbered block on these streets because it's going to be very difficult for you to find a lot of these businesses as many of them are inside these buildings. And so this is why it's so important to you to be familiarize yourself with the numbered block and how the streets are aligned here in the city. So here are even a few more businesses that are inside 455 Market Street. You've got Fox City News, a newspaper stand, uh, newspaper magazine type of establishment, and also the Melt, which is a restaurant, sort of sandwiches, both inside 455 Market Street building. Now the Melt is a sandwich shop serving uh, cheeseburgers and also grilled vegetables and other side dishes. Now we're approaching the 500 block of Market Street, going westbound. 
Now, First Street is uh, crossing south of Market off of the 500 block. Now, one of the things that makes First Street special is for starters, again, more uh, panoramic or views of the skyline buildings. And one of the things you're going to see throughout the city is there's lots of construction going on. So you see the long cranes uh, throughout the city. But the other thing is, especially if you're staying in near any of the downtown hotels, is First Street is the street you want to use to connect to the Highway 80 going uh, eastbound over to the East Bay. That is, if you're going over to the uh, Oakland Airport or anywhere over San Francisco over to the East Bay, and you need to take the Bay Bridge, First Street is going to be one of the streets you're going to use to connect to that bridge.